This is the laptop that I learned how to code on. This is actually the laptop that I owned up until I got my MacBook Pro about a year and a half ago or so. So I've had this thing for 11 years, 10 years. It weighs about 25 pounds. At least that's what it feels like. It's 17 inches. I think it has four gigs of RAM. Uh, at the time, I, <laughs> I, uh, I, it was so bad, I had Windows 7 on it. And then they were doing that free Windows 10 upgrade. So I tried to upgrade it to Windows 10 and it just it couldn't handle it this 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 computer was that bad that it couldn't handle windows 10 upgrade i tried to go back to windows 7 and it was like it wasn't the same like that it just wouldn't run right so i ended up uh installing linux on it i think uh, i think uh, i used ubuntu and linux mint but but yeah that's that actually is what i learned to code on i actually learned to code on in a linux environment but it's funny because looking back now at some point I could afford to get a laptop but it became like a, a sentimental kind of thing this thing would get so hot I had this laptop tray that had like two fans on each side um, to try to keep it cool I couldn't even like keep it on my lap without it burning me the battery was so bad I replaced the battery on this I, I think like two or three times while I was learning how to code till I finally gave up and I just left it plugged in. And then you might be thinking, oh, but I saw a picture of you at a meetup and you said that was your first meetup when you were learning how to code and it looked like you were on a brand new MacBook. Ha, that's not my MacBook. That's my laptop that the MacBook is sitting on. Yeah, that's how bad it was. I went to my first meetup and when I went to present my my portfolio at the meetup, because it was the only thing I had to show at that time, my my laptop, it wouldn't project and I couldn't cast to the screen that we were using and for some reason my HDMI port was acting up and I just couldn't get it to work. So the the organizer of the meetup felt sorry for me and let me use his, his computer. And yeah, so that's the computer I'm in that picture with. I, I went to my first meetup and all my other meetups that I went to with this, this monstrosity of a laptop. This thing is hideous, it's, it's slow, it's heavy, it's ugly, it smells bad. It's stained from where my hands would sit. My point being is that you don't need to go and buy the most expensive laptop there is. You, you don't need to do that. You don't need to go out and buy a MacBook. You don't need to go out and buy a, a Dell XPS 13. I'm dropping those because those would be my choices if I had to choose because those were my choices when I was shopping for a laptop. And I was really torn between the Dell XPS series. I like the XPS 13. It came with dual boot Linux on it, which, which is kind of cool. You can put Linux on anything you can dual boot it with Windows so it's not that big of a deal but it's kind of neat that it came with it and I had been working in a Mac environment I'm just gonna toss it right here I've been working in a Mac environment and I kind of had grown accustomed to you know the ergonomics and the gestures and just living in a Mac for two years so when I went to go buy my most recent laptop which is this This MacBook, it's probably dirty and it's got fingerprints because I wasn't ready. But this is the MacBook that I own now. It, it was a fraction of the weight of that other monster of a computer. And I love it. And I bought a MacBook Air first because they had them on sale at Best Buy. And I tried it out for a few weeks. And while I liked it, I felt that if I was gonna spend the money, I might as well do it right and at least get an entry level MacBook Pro that had the 16 gigs of RAM that I wanted and was kind of just a bigger computer. It, I think it came with a graphics card, it better processor. It was just the, the better computer to buy, but it was a lot more expensive. And the reason I ended up getting the MacBook Pro was because when I looked at the MacBook Air and then I started looking at 13 inch MacBooks and then I started looking at upgrading a MacBook Air to have 16 gigs of RAM and have it be closer to what the MacBook Pro had to offer and then that's when I decided 
I would be spending almost the same amount for, for the MacBook Air, and I just said, screw it, I'm gonna go with the MacBook Pro. And I'm re really, really, really happy that I did. I, I, I love my Mac, but you don't need to go out and buy a $2,000 computer. You don't need to do it. You know, the, the Dell XPS 13s, I think they're like almost 1500 bucks. I'm not sure. But you don't need to go out and, and buy these super expensive computers if you're learning how to code. Really, you don't. At least for the first six months, as long as you have a computer, as long as you have a laptop that you that works and you know you can use the internet on and and it has a little bit of processing power and a little bit of RAM, you're fine. You're fine. That that will do. Don't don't get all hung up on thinking your hardware is not good enough. You don't need such an expensive laptop or the best laptop to learn how to code and 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 i know i know where you're coming from if, if you're broke like i was and you didn't have the money to spend on a nice laptop and you know i i told you i i went to meetups with that monster of a laptop and i slapped some west boss stickers on it and i hung out with the cool kids that all had brand new macbooks and nobody judged me nobody cared they might have judged me but they didn't say anything because people are usually nice and they're not going to call you out for being broke and having a shitty laptop people aren't really like that and if they do screw them they're jerks so with all that said i get it all the cool kids have the macbooks and the stickers and and all that stuff and you don't need it to learn how to code you don't need it just make do with what you have and you'll be fine. And then when you are committed to learning how to code and you've decided, okay, I'm a programmer now, I've been doing this for a while, without a doubt, I am gonna pursue this into a career and I, I wanna make sure that I have the right tools to do what I wanna do. If you wanna start freelancing, if you wanna, if whatever, whatever you need a computer for to justify the cost, then do that when you're ready and you know that you've been committed for a while to this because you don't wanna go and spend a ton of money on you know, a really expensive computer and then three, six months later, you're not using it and you, you know, it was kind of a waste. So once, once you know that you want a nice computer, go out there and buy one and, and shop around, take your time. There's plenty of videos, there's plenty, there's plenty of blog posts, there's plenty of people that will tell you what's the best computer. I, I'm a Mac guy, I like my MacBook Pro, that's what I would recommend. You know, I'll, I'll link I'll link one below as an affiliate link. And if somebody that watches my video wants to spend that kind of money on a computer and wants to use my link, thank you. But just just use what you need to use to get the job done. And and don't worry and don't get hung up on having the fancy all the bells and whistles hardware. It's it's just it's not worth it. And with all that said, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer. See you next time.